Greetings, fellow quarantiners. It's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. I'm back again with a Let's Build Together. Now, as you guys have probably already figured out during the quarantine that's been going on for some time now, this is an epic time to build a lot of really epic LEGO things. So today, we are going to be building the Toy Story 4 Carnival Thrill Coaster. Show it a little closer up so you guys can see it. Now this is for ages 4 plus, so even the little guys can get in on this one. I love amusement parks, and since we can't go right now, we're going to have to get there in our imagination. Plus, I mean, this roller coaster is going to be purple, so we already know it's going to be epic. Now, I have actually assembled this set before, because I told you, we're in quarantine, you know? I've done all of the Toy Story sets that I own, I don't know, maybe 15 times each, so I figured I should share some with you. Now, I will note... Before I start, there were a few pieces that I could not get back apart very easily, and I probably could have pried them apart, but I didn't want to break anything. So, there's a few pieces that are already together, but I'll note them as I'm building. Alright, let's get started. Oh, right, okay. Sorry, this is set 10771 Carnival Thrill Coaster. It's from Toy Story 4 and for ages 4 plus. Can't remember if I stated that or not. Also, um, on one of the bags of pieces, I can't remember which one because I already had this set open, as well as on the corner of the instruction booklet, you'll see a QR code. If you scan this with your phone, guys, it will lead you to this free Lego app that will show you how to build this Lego set step by step, brick by brick, and you'll be allowed to spin the bricks around and see a 3D view, um, pinch and zoom, zoom in, zoom out. All of that jazz um, and there's actually information about it in the very front of the book too super cool new feature that lego has come out with i hope they add all the older sets in okay we're skipping the build of the minifigure i'm sorry you guys i'll build them at the end looks like we're building maybe the pizza cart first and get these little wheel pieces on and i'll make sure when you put these wheel pieces on that when you put the bar through It'll stick out this way. That way you've got wheels on either side of your cart. Here's the handle where the guy pushes a little cart. Alrighty, there we go. Now we got a little rolling pizza cart. And to make it complete, let's add some food. So there's this adorable pizza block, a popsicle, because whose life is not complete a popsicle. I don't actually know any carts that sell popsicles and pizza, but this is a good idea, you guys. They should seriously consider it. Pizza Planet knows what they're doing. I'm telling you. All right, let's get a balloon together. I love balloons. <laughs> I want a set that comes with all of the colors of balloons. I'm not sure if I put this on. Or... Nope. Okay, I did this right. I want a set that comes with each color of balloon. A rainbow of a balloon. You can put them in a bunch. <gasps> then you could put them on a cart, like an up. I wonder if they have up Lego sets. You guys have to look this up after this video. Okay. Anyway, I am. I'm focused. Okay. Pizza cart. <sighs> this is an interesting base plate. colors in this set. I think what's neat about the Toy Story 4 sets is that they're pretty standard fun things to play with. And what I mean by that is we have a carnival, a roller coaster, um, a playground, a race car, a motorcycle stunt set. They're really fun, even if you're not into Toy Story, which I don't know why you wouldn't be into Toy Story. I mean, clearly, you, 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 you've got issues. I mean, I don't know why anyone wouldn't love Toy Story. It's perfect. Pure perfection. I'm telling you guys. You should watch all four films and the two 22-minute shorts and the three short shorts called Toy Story Tunes. They're each five minutes long. Just saying. By the way, if you don't know what they are, the two 22-minute ones are Toy Story That Time Forgot, which is about dinosaurs in battle armor. It's epic. Uh, there's also Toy Story of Terror, which is a horror... It's not 
a horror movie per se. I mean, it's made for smaller children, but it is a Halloween film. Um, in the fact that I guess it's scary. Um, it's more jump scare than scar you for life scare, though. So you might want to watch it before you let your kids watch it, depending on their ages, but it should be all right. Uh, the three short shorts or Toy Story tunes that are each five minutes long are Toy Story Hawaiian Vacation, Toy Story Small Fry, and Partysaurus Rex. So all of those are super fun. I'm trying to talk to you guys and build this. My brain is just not handling it very well. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Here it is. Now I got my white pieces blending into my white paper, which I thought would be would make it easier for me to build these, but then, you know, then I had these white pieces, so. Who knew, right? Next time. Next time, next time. I guess I could turn this this way so you guys can see better. This rainbow is so cute, you guys. I'll probably mess this up building it backwards, but I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> Here we go. Ah. Da -da. Perfection. Two more. Oh well, if you accidentally put those in the wrong spot, you're okay because you're going to put two more in the next spot on the next step. So that is good news. Oh, you guys, there's these cute little prints on the tiles. I also really love that they're not stickers because the stickers always come off. They start peeling and then once they've started peeling, there's just no hope from there. They're coming off. Can I get some flags in here? Ah. Da, 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 da. Ooh! Goodness. I don't mean to push it that far down. <laughs> Although I suppose you can raise and lower the flags. But it's going to be playtime. The park is open. The flags will be at full mast. Okay. These are cool. They're semi-transparent pieces. There's two yellow and two orange. I'm supposed to make it look like they're light-up pieces, which is super fun. You can put the each color opposite to its same color. So you're going to have a line of orange and a line of yellow once you've created this. And then you're going to sit it on this little stick here, and it spins. Okay, sorry. Trying to do too much playtime in the middle of building. Focus. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. It's actually got a lens piece on the camera. Oops. Turn this back around so you guys can see where we're doing this. And we got our security camera in here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, sorry, I had to. You know I have issues. Okay, um, the next step is going to be building the Buzz figure, which, again, I have my minifigures in another place, so I will bring those out at the end of the video and build those for you. Don't panic. All right. Let's get a straight track piece in here. Oh, a oh, roller coaster. Okay. either side here. Oops. Okay, now we're going to take these red pieces and we're going to put them at the connection spaces of the roller coasters so that way if we push down too hard on the car we won't pop the track up. Which is an excellent thing that they thought of because you know one of us will accidentally do that. Okay. Same kind of concept here. We're going to need to support it underneath the track so that it doesn't bend down. So we're going to do that at that same connection point. And then we're going to add in G. 
few more curves. And of course, we're going to need to put in the red pieces again at these connection sites, just above where you put your supports, so that the pieces, the track pieces won't pop up or down. Alright, getting there, I'm sure you can imagine again, we're going to need a support piece. Last track piece. And then, of course, we're going to need our little red upper support blocks. This also adds a fun little splash of color. Now, this is one of the parts that I could not get <laughs> these little wheels out of the cars again. They're only sort of coming out, and I couldn't quite... Anyway, I left them in there, but this is a part where you'll just pop them into the slots, and if you're going to use this as a roller coaster again later, it's really fine to leave these in here. I don't... I don't know, maybe you have another use for these pieces, but they don't connect the same way other Legos do, so it's very difficult to put them in anything but a roller coaster. Alright, so now that we've made all of those, there's actually one, um, now these three cars are identical, but there's one other piece I couldn't get out. It's this little pink piece, which is our next step, and I can't for the life of me get it out of that little indent. So, put that in there for the next step, and I'm going to use this particular car because I already have it stuck in there. And then I'm going to get my little yellow sides in. Oh, there it is. And this is going to be the head of our little caterpillar car. Oops. There we go. Got it all the way down. Look how cute that is, you guys. Okay. Moving on to another car. Again, next step is to put the wheels in, but as I told you, I couldn't get them back out. So I'm not going to do that again. I'm just going to leave those in there. I'm going to add some green and yellow railing on top, just like it shows in the pictures. And then, of course, I'm going to do it on the last car because this is a caterpillar. All of his body sections are going to be identical. So got those two together. And then we're going to put a little seat in here. That way we can have passengers on our roller coaster. That's ideal. Okay, and now we can link together these cars. There we go. And to kind of line it up appropriately, We've got this entryway. We've got this turnstile to get into the ride. And then, of course, we've got our roller coaster running out here. And don't forget, we've got our Pizza Planet cart. That's so cool. All right, I'm going to go grab those minifigures real quick, build those up for you guys, and put them in this set. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back, and I brought all the minifigure pieces. So sorry about that. But let's... I believe the... Alien was first one we put together. Now, as I told you, I, I usually store these together, but they're pretty easy to assemble and disassemble, so I just did that real quick so that you guys can see the build here. Goodness. Struggling with this head. There we go. There we go. So now we've got our Buzz and the Alien minifigures, and let's see, let's put the Alien in the coaster, and perhaps Buzz can take a shift working the Pizza Planet cart. I don't want to stand him too close to the roller coaster. That's dangerous, you guys. Safety first. Safety first. Alright, so... He walks up, goes through the turnstile, plays with it a little bit because who doesn't when they go through the turnstile? Steps right up and loads himself into the car. You know what? I don't know if this is going to work out that great because the alien minifigure actually has shorter legs, so his legs do not bend. 
the way that they that they do on a bigger figure. So I'm gonna put Buzz in here instead. Just kidding, you guys. Okay, so set him in the seat, and he is ready to ride. This is super fun. I want more track pieces so I can build a huge epic roller coaster. Lego, I know, makes a couple other roller coaster sets, so if I obtain one of those, I might come on here again and build a giant roller coaster with you guys. Put this car on it. I think it's pretty cool. I do kind of wish this caterpillar had four sections so that he had a little tail or something, but it's still super cute as is. Also, I feel like there's room in the first car. We could have put another seat in here, and we still, I suppose, can. But we would need to have one more space if somebody's going to sit in it. So, I suppose you can't sit in the very front, which is kind of sad for a ride. Oh, at the actual real live Disney World parks, they're, um, they built a Slinky Dog ride. That's a roller coaster. It's way more epic than this loop. But this is what this reminds me of. Not that I've seen it in real life. I want to. But I'm pretty sure you can ride in the very front compartment of the Slinky Dog, which is super cool, you guys. You can probably ride in the very back, too, which is also super cool. I feel like front or back is where it's at on a roller coaster. Different preferences for different people, but it's usually one of those two sections. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go so you can play with this. But I will be back at some point with another Toy Story Lego set to build. And don't worry, I do actually have other Lego sets that aren't Toy Story, but I'm going to get my Toy Story ones out of the way first. So join us again on a Let's Build Together, and click the like or subscribe if you enjoyed it. Have fun! Bye!